Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are talking about something important. Salesforce Classic Encryption for Custom Fields. It's like a superpower uh, for keeping your information safe in Salesforce. We'll go through how it works and some smart way to use it. Let's get started. First and foremost, it is essential to note that classic encryption comes included with any Salesforce license at no additional cost. This feature revolves around the use of encrypted text field. This custom encrypted text field contains a combination of letter and number presented in an encrypted form, ensuring a high level of data security. To control access to sensitive information, only users with view encrypted data permission can access data within these encrypted custom text fields. The encryption process utilizes 128-bit master key and advanced encryption standard AES algorithm, providing a robust safeguard for your data. While encrypted custom field can be used in email templates, it is important to mention that the displayed value is always masked for additional security. If you are granting a login access to another user with view encrypted data permission, allow them to view encrypted fields in plain text. However, it is crucial to manage this access carefully. Now let's dive into some key restrictions and best practices associated with Salesforce classic encryption for custom fields. Encrypted fields are limited to 175 character due to the encryption algorithm. They cannot be uh, designated as unique, assigned as an external ID or used with the default value. Additionally, they are not applicable for use in uh, various filters such as list view, report, role of summary, fields and rules filter. These fields also cannot be utilized in connect offline Salesforce for Outlook, in lead conversion, in workflow rule criteria or in formula field. Also, this cannot be used in the outbound message, uh, web to lead or web to case form. While not searchable, encrypted fields can be included in search result. Now, let's uh, discuss some best practices to optimize your experience with Salesforce classic encryption for custom fields. Firstly, when it comes to field editing and validation, Encrypted fields are editable regardless of the view encrypted data permission. To control edit leverage validation rules, field level security setting or page layout setting. Validation rules and apex can be used to validate encrypted field values irrespective of the user view encrypted data permission. When Viewing encrypted data unmasked in the debug log, user must have view encrypted data in the service that Apex request originated from. For field conversion and mask type, it is important to note that existing custom field cannot be converted into encrypted fields. To encrypt the existing data, export it create a encrypted field and import the data. The mask type is not an input mask, but can be validated using validation rule. And speaking of the best practices, use encrypted custom field only when government regulation require it. These fields uh, involves more processing and have search related limitations. So it's crucial to uh, assess your specific regulatory compliance need. All right, so now let's create a custom field of type uh, text encrypted and we'll see how it works, okay? So I'm going to create a new field on the opportunity object and we'll, we'll select the data type uh, text encrypted. So here you need to scroll down and you can see this option here, text encrypted, okay? 
So you need to select this and next. So let me name it final amount. And here you can put the length. Okay, so let me try 255 character and just click next. So you can see you will get the error that this field supports only uh, 175 character because of the uh, algorithm limit, right? So let me put it 175 character here. And then uh, you have a option to select the mask type. So you have a different options, right? So you can mask all the character or you can mask uh, last four characters. We have a different options like credit card number and uh, national security number, social security number. You can type, you know, uh, you can select these uh, types. So let me select mask all character here and then we'll select uh, this mask character. All right. And let me click on next now. And next and we'll save it. Okay, so now we have uh, the field uh, on the opportunity object uh, called final amount. And this is a text encrypted field. Okay, so I am logged in with my user, that is a system admin user. And let me check my profile. Uh, if the system admin profile has the view encrypted data uh, permission or not, okay? So let me check that. Okay, so here we have the system admin profile and you need to go to system permissions. And then let's check view encrypted data, okay? So we can see uh, it is not checked. And when you try to uh, check that checkbox, it will not allow you to uh, check that checkbox uh, on your system admin profile okay so this is you can see this is grayed out okay so even system admin profile users cannot uh, see the encrypted data so you can do one thing you can create a, a permission set okay and then you can assign the user uh, whoever you think that they need to see the encrypted data, you can just assign the permission, okay? So let me just create one permission set here. Data permission. And let me save it. All right, so here you need to go to system permission and then uh, check that checkbox view encrypted data. So let me just edit this. All right, okay. Let me click on save now. All right, so we have this uh, permission set now and that has the view encrypted data permission okay so when we assign this permission to any user they can see the encrypted data as well now let's uh, add some value in that field on the opportunity record and see how it works okay so let me open the opportunity and let me put some value here okay so we have Final amount, okay. So let me just put some value here and save it. So you can see, even I cannot see the final amount here, okay. Just because uh, on my profile, I don't have the that permission, view uh, encrypted data permission, okay. Now let's add the permission here on my user and we'll see if I'm able to see it or not, okay. Okay, let me add the permission set here. 
So we have this permission here. Let me save it. All right, so I have assigned a permission set on my user. And now let's see if I am able to see the data or not, okay? All right, so you can see, now I'm able to see the final amount field, okay? So in conclusion, Salesforce Classic Encryption for Custom Fields is a powerful solution for securing sensitive information within the platform. By understanding the limitation and detail, restriction and best practices, organization can make the informed decision to enhance data security and comply with the regulatory requirement. As technology revolves, stay informed about such features become a crucial for maintaining a secure and efficient Salesforce environment. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more cool stuff. Stay safe. Catch you next time.